Watch this. I, can, I don't even have to shake them. I can just put my hand, just put my hand by them. And you can see all these little, little things just jumping around. Terrible. Hey guys, just want to make a quick video. Look at this. This is my neighbor's yard. That's our house. I'm in my neighbor's yard, and this is the back side of our grapevines. And what we're doing today is we're going to be spraying them. We have a mixer there, and we've got neem oil in there. And we are just going to spray all of these because if you look, if you look over here, watch this. I'm just going to shake these really quick, and you can see all these little tiny grasshoppers, all the the leaf hoppers. See them all? Look at that. See them all jumping around? I'll put this in slow motion. You can see them all. So that's what we're spraying tonight. As you can see all the damage, this is all the new growth that actually I've never seen. Here is the red, here's the red flame grapes right here. And then here's the other side of the red Zinvendels. And it looks like they're doing pretty good with all the new growth. But watch this. I don't even have to shake them. I can just put my hand, I can just put my hand by them. And you can see all these little, little things just jumping around. Terrible. Look at all these little things. We're just going to spray all of those with the neem oil, so that uh, so that they don't get diseased anymore. We're losing a lot, a lot of leaves on the other side. This is all the fresh growth. Like I said, sorry about the air conditioner. But uh, yeah, we need to spray all these, so I'm going to be doing that right now. So you can see how easy it is just to use this sprayer and I've just drenched you can see them all shiny now just absolutely drenched all those grapevines with that neem oil and we're gonna go to the other side in our backyard and finish the rest off and I'll show you that damage so let's get to it all right, so we are back here and I just wanted to show you the damage remember those grapes that we're trying to propagate we've got four of them in the bucket there one two three four look at these things they're just getting toasted by the leaf hoppers. They're just little micro grass hoppers. I bet you if I turn this over, we'll be able to see some. Of course not. Where's the fanfare? Yeah, you can see them all jumping off. I'm just gonna spray the heck out of these things. In fact, there's one right there. There's your leaf hopper. Look like that. It's like a little grass hopper. It's terrible. They're just chewing on the bottoms of these things, and there's so many of them, they have a large impact. Yeah, you can just see them all over the place. So we're going to spray our side. In fact, there's some red Zinvendels that haven't turned green yet. But the rest of the birds have eaten the rest of the grapes. Those, all those grapes are gone. So we're going to spray the heck out of these things. And uh, hopefully save our, save our little baby Zinvendels. Man, they are hurting. All right, let's get to the spraying. I already sprayed these, so we're gonna move on.
I just wanted to make a quick video on how we spray these things. This is the third application. Second application we made was just about two weeks ago and that didn't quite cut it because the other side of the wall which you saw of uh, grapes they're just touching the ground. I didn't realize that these grapes on these on the other side have grown another six to ten feet on the other side of the wall. That's incredible. That's wonderful. But I didn't realize that there was that much material still needed to be treated. So the treatment that we did on our side two weeks ago, that didn't work because they were just hopping to the other side and just going bounce, bouncing back and forth. There's just too many leaf hoppers. But you saw those little tiny grasshoppers. They're terrible. I hope, I hope this will be the last treatment of the year. I don't doubt it, but I hope it's the last treatment of the year. But if it's not, Stay tuned and we'll get you another treatment video and see how they go. Plus, in August, late August, maybe early September, we're gonna be pruning them. And I'll be pruning those for the fall flush growth on our side. So I'm gonna be pruning their side so that we get more growth on our side to strengthen up those vines for the winter time so that when those go dormant, those vines will be nice and thick and hopefully some better grapes next year. We already had some great grapes this year, but we're gonna to try to get some better grapes next year. So be sure if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you're feeling frisky, hit that bell icon. Leave your questions, comments, or concerns down in the comments section below. Ask us any questions you got or suggestions on how we can get rid of these leaf hoppers organically. And we'll be sure to get a video out for that. So from my family to yours, thanks for watching.